enjoy making acrylic skin jewelry? Want something special? Let me show you how to bling out your acrylic skins. Hi everyone and welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. Today we are going to be talking about acrylic skins again, this time how to bling out your acrylic skins. Whether you're going to make them to make them extra special and spicy, or if you're going to add certain things to existing skins to make them more interesting for jewelry making, then this is the video for you if you want to learn how to do that. If you haven't checked out my other video on how to make acrylic skins, you can do that too, but this one is how to make acrylic skins that are a lot more interesting, spicy, and blinged out. So the first thing that you need to do is to embrace your metallics. And you may not pour paint with a lot of metallics, but metallics are awesome. You can see you can get all kinds of metallics, all kinds of colors, as you've seen from the video um, in the previous clip I just showed you. You can start by just adding metallics to your pour box when you're done. People don't think about that, but when you have the wet paint in your pour box, you can just add metallic to the top of the paint if you know you're going to be needing these to make jewelry. So that's one thing you can do. But the other thing is, of course, to mix metallics. And this is just a good example of mixing metallics together with a little bit of acrylic pour medium, and you get some really awesome skins that way. So if you're making them, you have a lot more leeway to do so and get a lot of blinged out skins. And I'm going to show you with a paint that a lot of pore painters use, which is DecoArt 24 karat gold. And I've got some that's mixed up right here. And I'm going to show you how you can add a bling if you want to make a skin and you just want to do the gold thing. Many people have gold in their repertoire of paints. And so I'm going to show you how to do that and how easy it is. And also an additive that you can add to your pore paint, whether you use Floetrol or something else, and it will make your gold or any other metallic go really far. So we're going to start with my sapphire blue and I'm just going to put some down. I'm going to use this for several of the things that I'm going to show you. And we'll put our sapphire blue down. This is a premix pore paint, but I also add Floetrol and water to it usually to make it go further. And it's just a color I really like, so I'm just pulling it for that. So. You have your pour paint, and you normally think, well, just go ahead and put some metallic over the top of that to make a skin. You can use a skewer to go through it. But there is a trick to having some really neat things happen with your pour paint and your gold paint, and that is to use Liquitex pouring medium. It's probably the best one. And let me tell you why I use the Liquitex pouring medium. I do usually use Floetrol when I pour paint, but Liquitex, let me show you the difference. This is actually dried Floetrol, okay? Dried Floetrol is semi-clear, uh, it's very semi-transparent, but it, it tends to be kind of brittle. And that's what it looks like when it dries, if you've ever done this before. It takes a really long time to dry, has a really long drying time, in comparison to something like Liquitex, which has a lot more strength to it, and it dries usually a lot clearer. I've got some, some paint in this, but just to show you the difference between the two. So what I'm gonna do to this paint, because it's gonna allow my gold paint to spread a lot better, is to add a little bit of the Liquitex. And you can do this first or second, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to mix that with a skewer. I always keep skewers around. And I'm not gonna mix that completely. I don't want to mix it completely. But to really get my gold paint to do some interesting things, if I put some on the top, it makes for really cool skins. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. So this is your DecoArt 24 karat gold and we're just going to add a few little drops. And they really don't have to be big, big drops. These are sort of large, that you can see them a little bit easier. And I want you to see what happens when you add the pore medium to it. You can already see, we get a close up of this, that you're starting to get fractals. So you, you get it to spread out in really neat ways. So here you can see what it's going to look like and one way to do that is to use all kinds of metallics into existing pore paint. 
Another way to bling out your pore painting is to use something like this. This is a glaze. This is dragonfly glaze and it's actually awesome as a top coat, but you can actually add it into your skins when you're making them as well. And this particular one kind of has a purpley, violet, blue, green is what it is, shimmer to it. And this is great because if you have existing skins, you can actually paint right over the top of it. Just open it up. Put some on a brush and you can just brush an existing skin and you can see what it's going to do and I'll show you one when it's dry is add a lot of shimmer to your skin and this can be done with dry skins that you've already finished and pulled out of your pore box if you're a pore painter so just a great way to make a lot of shimmer and here is one that has been coated with the dragonfly glaze and you can see how much shimmer that you're getting off of that and it plays with the light. So here's another one where it's been the glaze is added on one side, it's not added on the other, and you really can bling out a skin using something like a glaze. Furthermore, you can add it to skins and a good example of where you can add that to a skin is this particular skin where the glaze is added into purples and blues. Here's another one and you get really awesome, awesome skins that have so much shimmer to them. So a great way to bling out your skin is to use something like a glaze. Another thing that you can use is color shift paints. If you've ever seen these before, these are by Folk Art, just a couple of colors, and an aqua flash, turquoise brilliant, and a Orchid Flash, so really great names in those. If you have never seen these color shift ones before, you can add these to your skins. This one is what the color shift paint looks like with Aqua Flash. Very, very iridescent. Pretty cool, I have used that in a painting before, a pore painting before. Just gives off so much sheen. And this one I love as well add it to a little bit of acrylic pore medium and it is both a pink and a gold color and also makes for a really great skin as well. So your color shift paints, and they also can be painted on, but your color shift paints are really great to add a lot of bling to your skins as well. So check out all the different kinds of paints. Speaking of paints, other than the color shift, there is holographic illusion paint. Now holographic illusion, this particular one, I have a lot of blues I've noticed, is dazzling teal. And dazzling teal, when it dries, is going to look like this. So this is just poor medium and the dazzling teal, so you can see what it looks like. It has a lot of holographic qualities. You can mix them. And this one is mixed with some metallic white and blue, and you're going to get something that has a lot of texture to it in this case, or you can paint it on a skin. And that is going to give you some really neat looking jewelry like this one. If you take an existing skin, this is a very small skin, but if you just take an existing skin and you get some holographic paint, I'm just gonna put it on there to the skin just to save time. And you just grab a brush and you can paint it over the top of this. And really, honestly, that is what you get. This looks white when it goes on, but it will dry clear and leave the holographic, almost like little glitter on it. But it will have a very holographic quality to it and you will get a skin that makes jewelry that looks like this. So your holographic illusions, this is a deco art paint, is another way to get really cool skins, especially if you want to do something with existing skins that just can paint right over the top. Now speaking of things that can go on the top of your skins, you can use glass, but what I will say about that, these is just are tiny pieces of glass that you can buy to put in your pore paintings or you can put them in your skins. And this particular one is gold, but you will just add them to the top and it will add a lot of bling. The only thing about these are is you want to get them sunk down enough that they are pretty flush because when you go 
to put your cabochon on there if you don't know what a cabochon is it's this thing right here this piece of glass usually and when you go to put that on there it needs to sit flush and if it's not flush it's going to have a hard time so if you're going to use bling like this which you absolutely can then you need to make sure that it sits flush Another great paint that you can use are your glitter paints. This is Galaxy Glitter by DecoArt, and if you add it with a little bit of the Liquitex acrylic medium, you can get clear skins and really keep that glittery quality. Here is a skin, just a sample of a skin. This is the glitter paint with your Liquitex pouring medium, and then some silver is added onto the top, and it makes for a really awesome skin that you may not be able to see here, but it gives a lot of texture. It looks like a stone. You can use your glitter paints to make excellent skins that have a lot of texture to them. So all kinds of paints are available, whether they're glitter, holographic, or color shift, that will make blinged out skins. So another thing you can do to make blinged out skins is to emulate natural stones. And here I have a piece of turquoise to show you how you would do that. So a lot of precious and semi-precious stones that you can emulate using your pour paint. So we're just gonna start with our turquoise, paying attention to its veining. It's not the prettiest piece of turquoise here, but we can make skins that look like the turquoise. And we can just start with our pour paint. Here's a nice medium shade. This is actually called turquoise. I'm gonna add some darker. This is called Pool Party. It's a pre-mixed paint, but it is darker. And then we're going to add a lighter shade. So here's a shade. This is Viridian Green, or it's a nice green-blue color. Once we do that, we can add our acrylic pour medium as well to it to get good flow. Just a little extra. All of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, in case you were wondering. I'm just using the same thing that I would use to pour paint with. And I'm just going to take my skewer, and I am going to mix it so I can get something that is similar to this turquoise. Okay. You can make several stones this way. So once you have the mix the way you want it, you can take as long as you want to to figure out how you want it, then you're ready to add the veining. Now. As you see here, this kind of has a very dark veining. Sometimes it has a coppery color. So I'm going to use a coppery color that is a metallic pour paint. So back to my metallics here to add a little bit of shimmer and sparkle and that extra bling. This is actually copper metallic, but it is a very brown, almost bronzy color. So I'm just going to add some in. Not a lot. And then I'm going to use my skewer to simulate the veining. So I can just take my color. You have to do the little bit of artist brush thing and add some veining in. This will give the added sparkle you need and the added bling. You will end up with something that looks like this. This one's a little darker. Every piece will be unique and it can make a great bracelet. Here is a square cabochon. And you can see how interesting that would look. It's another way to add some bling to your acrylic skins. Mm -hmm.